Hey everybody, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting, and I've got a new Raspberry Pi here that I just bought on eBay. Um, new to me, it's a ri Raspberry Pi uh, 3B+, Plus, which is, um, from what I understand, not quite the latest, but the second latest version. Got a good deal because the, the 4 just came out, so I thought I'd install FPP. Now, FPP is Falcon Pi Player. It's from the Falcon Christmas people, and it's a way that a lot of people run their shows um, automatically without a, you know, regular Windows or Mac computer. And I've never used it before. And I started diving in earlier today to install the thing. And not being an engineer or like a software coder, I, I could not figure out from the instructions exactly what I was supposed to do. So this is my adventure here to figure it out and be able to share that with you so you can figure it out. So the very best article that I could find on it was right here on the Falcon Christmas forums, the FPP 2.x installation instructions, which apparently has been read 14,000 times, so maybe it's worth something. Um, and I don't mean that in any wrong way. So the first thing it says is to go download the latest image from this website, which is right here. So I am gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna get the Pi one because um, I'm using a Raspberry Pi, not a, a, a Beagle bone whatever. Again, I've never used one of these things before, so I really don't know what I'm doing, but you're probably in the same boat if you're new to this. And so now it says that I need to burn the image onto an SD card. Um, you should use a program such as Apple Pie Baker or Etcher. So I Googled the two of these, and they're both um, OS X things, and I'm a Windows person. I mean, I've got a, comp a Mac here, but I know a lot of people here are Windows people. And so I Googled it, and I found Pie Bakery. Quote, the easiest way to set up a Raspberry Pi, and it runs on both Mac and Windows. So I thought, hey, this will be great to show people. And so I'm going to go ahead. I just downloaded that. I'm going to install it, and uh, then we're going to see what happens next. All right, so now Pi Bakery is um, loaded. I just started it, and it says, should I update it? Okay, I guess I'll update it. Um, why not? And so that's the first thing it's asked me. Cool, that, won't, that only took a second. Sure, I have a good um, deal. And so now, I don't really know what I'm doing. And so what I'm gonna do is press um, start up on first boot maybe. And I'm gonna try to drag the file in here of FPP and see what happens. Nope, that didn't do anything. All right, let me dive in and read the um, the how-to from the developers. All right, so I dove into that pie bakery. Apparently is the wrong thing, but apparently this etcher runs on Windows. So great. Um, so I'm going to select my image, which is the FPP file that I downloaded. So it's right here at the top of my downloads. Then I select my target. And so I've got my SD card plugged in as it shows right here. It's a 64 gig because that's what I had on hand. Um, for an SD card, you want it to be a class 10 so that it can run uh, nice and full speed and that's a faster card. And as a bonus, um, you really want one if it's gonna be outside that's built for security cameras and I'll link below on Amazon to a place where you can get one of those um, because that's important. You know, you want it to be reliable over the long run and, and that's what that'll ensure for you. So I'm gonna press continue. I'm gonna press flash. We'll let it do its stuff, and we're going to see what happens. All right, so now it says that it is done. And so looking back at the old instructions over here, it says that I need to grab the card and uh, put it into the Pi, connect the network cable, and power it on. So let's do it. All right, so we just got it plugged in. We turned it on. Um, it's connected to my home's network. Uh, lights are coming on. It's flashing. And it says here in the instructions that in about 30 seconds, I should be able to go to FPP, HTTP colon slash slash FTP, or, or FPP, or FPP.local, and we should get it. And would you look at that? We've got it. So... The first thing that comes up, and I remember reading about this and seeing it online, is that uh, I get a notice here about the SD card having unused space. 
So I can go ahead and make a new portion on that SD card to save my shows. And so why not? You know, we'll give it a try. Um, so let's see, we'll go down here. And oh, here it is. Grow file system or new partition. Let's see. I think new partition is what I wanted. But let me go back to home and make sure. Hope that didn't take me to the right place. To expand or create. I wonder which one I want. I think I want expand. We'll find out. We can always do it again. We'll press this. It says please rebu reboot. It says reboot. We click it. And then hopefully that reboots it. I think so, because I hit refresh. And yeah, we get this reboot message in the corner. Awesome. I'm going to pull my instructions over to my other screen so I can read them and see this configuration at the same time. All right, and we're back, and it seems to be working. And so that's where I'm going to stop this video for today. This is just the basics of getting it installed. And uh, I'm going to go grab a sequence, um, figure out what to do with it to get it on this thing, and uh, then I will show you from there. Thanks.